In this video, we'll see how to simplify fractions with the GCF and how to rename uh, fractions uh, with the lowest common denominator. So first, to simplify fractions with the GCF, find the GCF of the numerator and denominator, and then we're going to divide both the numerator and denominator by that GCF we find. We can use the uh, cake method that we learned previously to find the GCF. 2 goes into 30 and 84. 2 goes into 30 15 times, and into 84 42 times. I can use my divisibility rules and see that 3 will go into both 15 and 42. 3 goes into 15 5 times. 3 goes into 42 14 times. Since there's nothing that goes into both 5 and 14 except for 1, I found my GCF. My GCF is 3 times 2 which is 6. So the greatest common factor of 30 and 84 is 6. Now I take the second step. I divide both the numerator and denominator by the GCF, which is 6. Remember, I have to divide or multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number in order to keep my fractions equivalent. 30 divided by 6 is 5. 84 divided by 6 is 14. And again, this is another example of how Two numbers can look different, yet represent the same value. 30 84 is the same as 5 14 Let's see this with another example. Uh, my fraction is 36 126, and I want to reduce that and write it in simplest form. Again, I want to find the GCF of 36 and 126, so I could use my cake method. 2 goes into both. 2 goes into 36 18 times and 2 goes into 126 63 times. 3 will go into 18 and 63. 3 goes into 18 6 times, and 3 goes into 63 21 times. And again, I can divide by 3. 3 goes into 6 twice, and 3 goes into 21 7 times. 2 and 7 have no common factors except for 1, so my GCF is 2 times 3 times 3. So my GCF is 18. Now that I found my GCF of 36 and 126, I want to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 18. 36 divided by 18 is 2, and 126 divided by 18 is 7. So 2 sevenths is equal to 36 126. Okay, now I want to rewrite fractions with the least common denominator. And this is going to be helpful when we get to adding and subtracting fractions. First thing I want to do is find the least common multiple of both denominators. And then I'm going to rename each fraction with that new denominator. So my denominators are 12 and 9. To find the LCM, I can see what goes into both. Uh, 3 will go into both 12 and 9. 3 goes into 12 4 times and into 9 3 times. Since there's nothing in common uh, with 4 and 3 except for 1, I can multiply 3 times 3 times 4 to get me my LCM. So my least common multiple is 36. Now I want to rewrite each of these fractions with 36 in the denominator. So 7 twelfths. I want to rewrite it so it has 36 in the denominator. 2 ninths, I want to rewrite that so it has 36 in the denominator. So what I do is I think to myself, 12 times what gives me 36? And the answer is 12 times 3 gives me 36. So I also want to multiply 7 times 3 because by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same number, I keep my fraction equivalent. So 7 twelfths is equal to 21 36. On the second fraction, 9 times 4 is 36, so I also want to multiply my numerator 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. So now I've renamed both fractions with the least common denominator, 21 36 and 8 36. Okay. I want to find the... Uh, I want to rewrite these fractions with the least common denominator. My fractions are 3 eighths and 1 18th. Uh, 
I want to first find the least common multiple of 8 and 18. 2 will go into both of these. 2 goes into 8 4 times. 2 goes into 18 9 times. If I look at 4 and 9, I can see that there are no common factors uh, except for 1 between 4 and 9. So I can stop right here and multiply these three th numbers together to get my LCM. My LCM is 2 times 4 times 9. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8, times 9 is 72. So the least common multiple of 8 and 18 is 72. So now I want to rewrite 3 eighths as a fraction with 72 in the denominator rather than 8. And 1 18th, I want to rewrite that also with 72 in the denominator rather than 18. So for the first fraction, I think to myself, what do I multiply 8 by to get 72? 8 times 9 is 72, so I also have to multiply 3 times 9. 3 times 9 is 27, so 3 eighths equals 27 70 seconds. On my second fraction, 18 times what is 72? 18 times 4 is 72, so I also multiply my numerator times 4. 1 times 4 is 4. So now I've rewritten 3 eighths and 1 18, so they have the same denominator, uh, 72. So my answers are 27 70 seconds and 4 70 seconds.